Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 7 and 8. Okay, the previous episode, uh, we got introduced to a new character uh, that is Ayanami Ray, and um, there is something uh, like the matter between uh, her and Shinji's dad. Like obviously Shinji's dad doesn't care about Shinji, but like while talking with Ray, he seemed uh, really like, you know, uh like cheerful so now the question is uh like obviously i can kind of understand ray having this kind of uh fascination for like shinji's dad because i'm guessing uh he like most probably took her in uh like uh, i'm guessing gave her shelter or something or saved her from something i'm not sure but maybe something like that happened and like that kind of gives uh like reason for ray to be like uh, like fascinated towards him because obviously he's the only person that showed kindness to her like that is understandable but uh i'm really not sure what like shinji's dad's deal is like him not like talking with shinji not even like giving uh like not even noticing shinji and kind of like brushing him uh, aside and like talking like so cheerfully with ray like that's the main question which i'm sure we'll get uh to know as like the episodes go on there must be some kind of uh you know something must be the matter so like like what is this like this, what is like this kind of a mystery like why is he like this so yeah anyways so that was the thing and like shinji also kind of like helped ray and showed his sincerity and uh which i'm sure like ray understood in the end and she showed like a genuine smile to shinji so i'm guessing like um they're friends now and like ray also like opened her heart to shinji as well as like his dad so yeah so anyways guys um let's get started uh this is episode number seven of neon genesis evangelion so as always i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and uh, let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go All right. So we're only uh, like, I think Asuka is the only one left to be introduced. I'm sure we'll like get introduced to her sooner or later. And I'm really like, uh, like it's really curious as to why they like named them angels, you know, like 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 there is so many things you can like call them but why angels like they barely look like any angel like these huge monsters and so okay let's see what project Okay, that which is man made. <laughs> this penguin. Um, what's she is slobby <laughs> in the morning? Wait, she drinks beer like in the morning? What the hell? No.
Um, yeah. <laughs> this is the meme with Shinji, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Um, Shinji. Slobby. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Misato. Uh, you should have like told him that. Yeah, I just wanted to go. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Well, everything's looking happy. Oh, wait, someone's guarding him? Okay. Oh, oh my god, here she is. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What the <laughs> Oh boy, these guys. Protecting the earth. Hmm. Oh. You need zero two. Hmm. Yeah, that's like quite true. Okay. No, oh, this is Ninja's dad. No more angels will appear. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Another second impact. Antarctica was evaporated. Whoa. Covered up. Outpour. Okay. Okay, so that's the second impact. All right. 
Okay, all right. So what's the first impact? What? <laughs> it's like a daily routine for them. Oh, but today Misato is all <laughs> Okay, oh, she's quite serious. All right. Oh. All right. Oh, uh, well, she's quite serious here. A human work. Whoa, look at the airplane. The design. Oh, this is Tokyo. Oh, the old Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. SSDF involved. Strategic Self Defense Force. Oh, so this is like some kind of conference or? Construction of new product. Keep with the internal uh, what? Yeah, like the radiation and it can blow up even. Um. Um, um, what the hell? What? This guy is like yapping too much. What the hell is wrong with that guy? <laughs> Damn, Misato! <laughs> Okay, she is really able to like hold her anger. Huge leak. Hmm. What the hell is that? That's supposed to be a, like, yeah, I'm guessing this is like a test. Okay. All right, let's see what that thing can do. Hmm. 
Come on, follow. <laughs> okay. I'm just like waiting for it to mess up somehow. Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's, it's going to crush them all over. Oh my god! It's wow. Like, yeah, this is what you made. Good job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, now who's going to take responsibility for this, huh? Uh. What the? Miracle, wow. Hmm? Oh. Is this... Wow, they're like... <laughs> this is like waste, wasting time. Yeah, vash, evasion of responsibility. Oh boy. That's... Oh, the, the calling Shin's here. Okay, uh, that can... Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hope, wow. Like, you know, they were like talking about scientific and non scientific stuff, but the hope, like, the password is hope, which is an extreme unscientific thing. The irony of the situation. Okay. Place me on its back. In the target as best as you can. Okay. Um, she's talking about you. Hmm. Yeah, this also like, like, like applies for Shinji as well. Like she, he also like learned a lesson. As Misato said that you have to do whatever you have to do. Like, otherwise you'll regret it. Ooh, damn, look at it. Ooh, what the hell? Look at the walking like a... Damn, look at it, how it's like walking. Okay. Ah, got you. 
you know when you catch a cat like this like through the neck <laughs> all right i'm hoping the like suit oh like i'm hoping the suit like stops any re radioactive like radiation to like Okay. Oh my god. There it is. Hope. Huh. <sighs> Wait. Oh, did they alter them from like remotely? Oh no! What now? Oh, what's she doing? Oh no, it's bl blowing up. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Oh, was that like the manual thing that they had to do? Oh, okay. Like it was, it could be like manually stopped as well, I'm guessing. Mm, okay. Set up by someone. Oh. Oh, that was... <laughs> okay, um, everything's back to normal now. The mean face. And here we go. <laughs> yeah exactly this means she trusts you yeah yeah okay all right so one thing that i got a little bit confused later on was that like a plan from like shinji's dad uh and like ritsuko also knew about that that's why like she said that idiot or something like that stupid at the end because like misato herself took it like uh like, like took it for, like for like herself and like went in there to stop it so i think that was like some kind of a plan they were like talking about it like uh Risco said to shinji's dad 
that <coughs> everything went to plan except like Misato kind of like like doing her stuff the way like she did it so yeah I think that was like uh, and Misato kind of said in the end that like someone must have done something to like help so that was also I'm guessing something that like some kind of strings that they pulled like Shinji's dad and uh, Ritsuko <clears throat> okay I think so uh, because like um yeah like in the end it was a little bit of like one thing like we can see that uh when misato was unable to like do the thing like whole thing with the program she like started pushing these you know um these protrusions which i'm guessing is the manual way to like like stop the pressure from building up so she like did it manually and it activated so i'm guessing like then like when shinji says that uh, it's a mis uh, it's a miracle and she says just a sec um okay yeah here it is but the miracle was set up by someone and, and then like they suddenly like go back to like uh uh shinji's dad's and like they're saying that uh recovery of unit one is complete no danger of radioactive contamination Except for Kasuragi captains, uh, uh, ev uh, like everything went according to plan. And Shinji just says that good work. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing like they kind of put some strings in there. Okay. So like this episode was kind of uh, like had a little bit of a few bits of like technical stuff. Like I'm guessing like what they were trying to do was like make a like, you know, uh, like a robot which would be like which they would be able to uh, like control uh, like from a, like a distance as they were like saying but obviously because uh, like that kind of like makes this a lot safer because uh, obviously like people won't have to get in and they are not in like danger but it also kind of like brings uh, you know uh, a danger uh, uh, like situation might happen anytime like it's like uh, not controlled like by a man by any person it's just uh, like controlled using like commands from like a distance and they also have this uh, like nuclear uh, reactor within it which also makes it a lot more dangerous because if somehow like uh, some kind of like mistake happens or something happens some kind of malfunction or whatever like obviously the, there's no person who is controlling it and they won't be able to stop it it will just like go berserk just like in this episode it went so okay and <clears throat> another thing maybe the the string that they pulled well maybe that was something that ritsuko and um like shinji's dad did so that this like the whole project gets cancelled or something like uh or like gets like delayed or something like that so obviously like shinji uh, dad is more uh like for the whole evangelion like you have to like get in uh, like manually control the robot and like fight like, that's more like uh, what shinji's dad wants I, I at least i think so so i'm guessing that's the reason why like he like did this whole thing and maybe like pull some strings so that like it can like make a problem like this it face a problem like this and gets cancelled or something so yeah I, I i think that is something like that is what happened here i might be wrong but uh like at least as far as i could understand it was something like that and <clears throat> uh and also like we like she like shinji is uh, like is able to like control the evangelion a lot better now like you know like he is like doing his own thing like uh like quite effortlessly so like i'm happy for that like he needs to like get uh like control uh, like as soon as possible because obviously he has to like get into the evangelion and do every like the fighting like uh, saving people or stuff like these uh, fighting with the angels so it's really good that he is able to control it so well now and <clears throat> yeah and what else Ah, also and uh, Shinji 
like as like the like Shinji's two friends said that uh, her like uh, she, like acting like that in front of Shinji kind of shows that yeah she trusts Shinji and like acts like uh, like thinks as him of him as her family so so that is like you know um like good like Shinji wanted this you know like human like companionship because obviously he is uh, like his dad doesn't talk to him and he is like he doesn't have, have much friends and he's kind of a troubled a troubled teen you know so obviously like having a person who trusts him like this and like treats him like family is something that uh, he i'm sure he wanted so he's getting it now so like he like realized it later on when like his friends like like told it to him like uh, in in his face <laughs> so yeah and <clears throat> Yeah, that was it. That was this episode. Nothing much happened. That was uh, like the whole episode. And yeah, Shinji is, you know, um, doing well now. Like uh, in, the, in the first episode, he was like all like troubled in a lot of things. Like his whole thing with his dad. He doesn't want to get into the like robot. And he doesn't want to like pilot the Evangelion. And his dad like also shouting at him, like saying that like you don't want to get in. So get out of the place. We don't need you. Stuff like this. So like he has come quite uh not a long way but he's quite came like he has come quite a way and now he like uh has like a person who like treats him like family that is Misato has a friend good friend uh, uh has two good friends and has another person uh like a comrade you know uh Rei Ayanam uh, who is also a fellow like um pilot like him and yeah everything's going well except um, his relationship with his dad so <laughs> like let's see how much time it takes for that to like improve or I, i'm not sure whether it will improve or not like i'm guessing it would or maybe not who knows let's just see so yeah guys uh, that was episode number seven of um neon genesis evangelion so without further ado um let's get started with um, episode number eight of the show so yeah Anyways, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> okay. Okay. We have a, a lot of like <clears throat> new characters left. I'm seeing to be introduced. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Pacific Ocean. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, all right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So this is quite old. <clears throat> oh, this is it's Asuka, isn't it? Or not? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Damn, this <laughs> gap. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is Asuka. <laughs> yep, this is Asuka. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, th she's the second child. Um. <laughs> Wait, what? Why Shin Shinji? What? <laughs> um. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. <coughs> um, calm down. Oh boy, they are like No. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> yeah, obviously they'll like take like control. Who is this? Oh, Nisato knows him? Um, yeah. Oh my god, these guys are extremely pissed at, like, you know. <sighs> okay, she knows him. Oh! <laughs> um, what the? <laughs> um... Oh! Oh! Oh, wait!
or they go to trainings. Okay, damn. Haha. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, this is a. Uh... Oh, so this is like the. Oh, is she going to like ask him to like go and like synchronize with this? Final model, okay. Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, she didn't even like ha have never seen an angel before. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> <Jen? laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, like we have the control now, so. Um, yeah, yeah, they, they're not listening. Obviously, they're prideful of this whole thing. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, she's getting ready. Yep. Yeah. Like <laughs> Um, what's that for? Oh, is he going to accompany? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's a way to do it. Yeah, like if you win, everything's okay. Okay, let's see how this goes, if it goes well or not. Uh, uh, unit 2, isn't it? Wait, this is also part of the plan? Is this German? I think that was German, wasn't it? Wait. What? Bangkwe? <laughs> Hmm. 
Uh, wait, that's the reason why the error was like showing? Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Damn. <laughs> With the cape and everything. <laughs> 58 seconds. Damn. Yeah, it's looking cool with the, you know, the blank, like the, like cloth over its like shoulders. <laughs> Whoa, it's using the ships as stepping stones. <laughs> well, I hope don't, no one gets hurt. Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. And. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, will that work? That's a small O. Oh, okay. What is this? Is this another angel? And... Oh! Oh, he, she... But uh, the weapon fell down. Oh! Uh... Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. And either the cable will like break or the whole ship will be like. Oh. <laughs> wow. Like, as like Shinji's dad said, that like if you feel you can like. Just run away. Okay. But like it's not working. Like it's underwater. Yeah. Yeah, like what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, what, what, what to do now? Okay, maybe you can like beat it from in the inside or something. You know, there's no water in the. Oh yeah, you can like. <laughs> yeah, you can like. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. Yeah, they're like, they're going to like... Okay. Point blank assault. Oh. <laughs> okay. Self destruct. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's going to like be extremely difficult to Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. Okay, it's opening. <clears throat> okay. And there we go. All right, shove it in. And there you go. Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, he's gone. Oh. Restored itself. Wait. Is that an angel? What? Don't say that. Like, this is an anime. Like, he'll just, she'll just transfer in. You don't know. <laughs> yep, I. I, I <laughs> she'll just transfer in. Like, this is an anime. <laughs> Soryu Asuka Langley. Okay, I kind of knew Asuka Langley. I did not know Soryu as well. Like, that's also a part of her name. Okay, this is a good episode. Uh, yeah, we finally meet Asuka and yeah, let's just see how this goes. Like, it will be a lot, you know, uh, more um, like 
what can I say? Uh, like the excitement factor will like grow a lot more because obviously Asuka is kind of you know like uh, like loud and <laughs> like a bit you know expressive, extremely expressive. So I'm sure like uh, like in the upcoming episodes, uh, yeah, like like everything will be uh, um quite like uh, quite excitable uh, like uh, after this. Because, like, like Shinji himself is quite, like, you know, like, quiet and usually, like, calm. Alright, that's the end. And also, like, uh, uh, Rei is also, um, like, quite, like, qu like, quiet and, like, uh, usually calm and is not so, you know, hyperactive. <laughs> and same with the other characters as well. Misato is a little bit, you know, a bit, uh, like energetic a little bit but asuka will be <laughs> like asuka's like a firecracker like she's going to <laughs> like <laughs> like just like i'm just waiting how like this will go after this episode and yeah uh, i did not know like she was going to be introduced in this episode but yeah like this is the eighth episode so yeah like uh, like it's not like like what can i say like it's not too late like there are a few uh 10 12 uh, 14 or 15 episodes left so she has plenty of time uh so yeah and obviously like <laughs> like you know uh the the uh, shinji's friend he was saying that like oh my god like thank god we will we won't have to meet her again and like that's one thing you should definitely not say in an anime like as soon as you like say something like that oh my god like he like he or she will come knocking at your door <laughs> knocking not at your door but at your school and say that yeah i have transferred in so hello guys uh, my name is this and this so like like i <laughs> like i'll like study with you and be your friend for from this today onwards so i hope we get along so that's usually how it happens and similarly like <laughs> Like as soon as he like uttered that word that thank god we won't have to see her again she came <laughs> oh god that was good and <clears throat> all right so we met a few characters uh uh two new characters um uh, what was his name uh, kaji 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 and um asuka in this episode and as far as you can say, like, I thought, I think maybe like, uh, Kaji and, uh, like, uh, like from the like conversation, uh, it seems as if like, she, like Misato and Kaji were in a relationship maybe, uh, previously. So that, and, um, uh, and what else? Like, yeah, he seems like a carefree guy. Oh, and also in the end, there was like, they were showing something uh in the end they showed like you know a box and which kaji was carrying and i'm guessing uh shinji's dad asked him to like run away if something happens because of that like uh like suitcase or whatever that was uh the thing that was inside it uh for its safety so that's why uh, like maybe he said that if things get too like messy just like run away so and he like uh came in front of shinji's dad and presented that thing now inside that there was this weird um you know uh it's like a human uh fetus like a small baby and he called it uh like uh, said that without a doubt this is the keystone of the human instrumentality pro project i'm not sure if they mentioned this thing before but i cannot remember if like this project that they're talking about is something that they mentioned before or not but anyways like uh, this is some kind of a project that they're doing and uh this is the first human being adam now i'm guessing obviously like uh, adam is like a code name for the thing because obviously you know adam and eve uh, the first man and the first uh like, the first two people like people to inhabit the earth or whatever and like obviously i'm not sure about th like those things because like i only know it by the name because like <clears throat> it's like uh christian uh like christianity is like involved in it 
so like adam and eve so i'm guessing like this is like a code name for the you know the first person the first man and and they're like calling it the first human being so that's why adam i'm guessing and i'm not sure what that actually is like is like at first i thought that maybe that was like you know a baby angel or like uh, something like that like for example i was thinking like maybe they're like going to uh, do some kind of experiments on angel uh, you know as like uh, like they usually do in these type of like shows like uh, the person like the things that they're like fighting against even though they are extremely um you know uh, extremely like vicious and extremely dangerous they kind of like uh, find a way to like capture it and then like uh, conduct some tests on it experiments on it and i was guessing it was something like that but um or maybe it is who knows i'm not sure even sure like if what that is so maybe that is an angel like obviously that cannot be like a human being can it I don't know anyways but they're calling it the uh, what did they call it the first <clears throat> uh, just a sec uh, first human being okay so I'm guessing this is also a secret from the others like uh, Kaji and Shinji's dad knows about it and I doubt uh, Misato knows about this or I'm not even sure if Ritsuko knows about it <clears throat> so okay anyways and okay enough of, enough about that let's talk about uh, the like the first part of the episode um so <laughs> yeah and Asuka's uh, introduction is as you know um uh, as gaudy as I expected like <clears throat> she just introduced herself as like 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 <laughs> like stepping on a cat <laughs> and like slapping like shinji's friend shinji and the other friend <laughs> and yeah like that's a definition of a sundry so <clears throat> now uh, like that and another thing is like she is the third third no she's the second child or, or the third child wait no shinji is the third child kind of met, like mixing everything up wait a minute okay anyways i'll check it out later on like it's like taking quite a bit time to check anyways uh so i i think maybe um like as far as i can remember uh, shinji is like the third child and asuka is the second child i think anyways i'll check that out later on and i'll like uh <clears throat> clear my doubts so if i'm mistaken uh like i'll like check it out later so okay so that and uh like the like the robot the evangelion that she is using is the latest model so like it's the it's unit uh, two um unit zero was the one that uh ayanami ray used wasn't it yeah and unit one was is the one that shinji uses and unit two is the one asuka uses and like according to her like those two were like you know uh, prototype and test models but this is the like original like one and according to her like <clears throat> this being the original one or the superior version from the others uh, like this is even like stronger and like she is like using it so she is superior to it so to like shinji or something like that um <laughs> like some kind of that logic and uh obviously like she being the like prideful uh girl uh she invited shinji to get in and like try to show off in front of him <laughs> and like uh like and this like angel attack and she takes this opportunity to like sh show shinji that yeah like i can do this better than you <laughs> but obviously like uh I'm also guessing this was another plan that uh, Shinji's dad made as like uh, Kaji and he was talking uh, about it uh, in the telephone and then like this angel attacks they get like go under water and everything and the one surprising thing was like uh, when they were like uh, checking the synchronization rate uh, <clears throat> Ritsuko said that and uh, this is the highest so does that mean that if like Okay, so there can be two uh, things possible here. Number one is maybe 
uh, because they are both riding it that's the reason why the synchronization rate was so high maybe that is like that might be one reason another reason may be that because shinji was riding on it that's why the synchronization rate is higher because obviously before this uh, asuka herself like used it only so like the synchronization rate that asuka like uh, got with this uh, from the like conversations we can we, like we know that shinji's uh, rate is a lot higher than that you know like when they were talking asuka herself was surprised after like hearing the uh, shinji's like uh, uh, synchronization rate was like 40 percent or something and <clears throat> she was like surprised so uh like also that kind of like made her like try to show, show off like she was like her pride was hurt <laughs> anyways um so that and so maybe because shinji was riding on it maybe that's the reason why the synchronization rate like you know shot up because uh, before this only asuka like used it but now shinji being present in it kind of like boosted it up or something like these are the two possible like reasons like either because both of them are riding it the synchronization rate increased or maybe because shinji is riding it the synchronization rate increased either of that so we'll i'm sure we'll get like uh clarified on that later on and <clears throat> And another thing uh, we can uh, uh, oh and like uh, Asuka was like transferred uh, to this you know uh, to Shinji's place so I'm guessing they have like some kind of future plans uh, with uh, like which uh, includes Asuka so yeah like we'll just see and yeah they did a good job and i'm really happy for shinji like he can like so like uh you know confidently control the evangelion and like his most of the like his you know uh he was a lot scared and terrified before while fighting so i'm glad that it's like uh decreasing and he is like he can use it properly now so that's a good thing and yeah i'm happy like asuka got in introduced like i was like waiting for her to be introduced <laughs> uh so yeah was there anything else i'm just checking if there was something else of importance in this episode uh oh also like kaji i, I don't know like kaji seems like a, you know a, a really carefree guy a really casual guy uh who like uh you, you saw like he like just like said that yeah i'm going bye bye and like he took the <laughs> airplane and just like went away and so he seems like a guy like that uh extremely you know carefree and uh, extremely like uh like does things at his own pace that type of a guy so <clears throat> yeah and yeah that was it that was it guys so this was uh, episode number eight of neon genesis evangelion so yeah i'm happy asuka is has been introduced and uh, i'm sure like we'll get to see more of her <laughs> shenanigans in the future episodes and i'm looking forward to that so yeah so thank you guys for watching this was uh, neon genesis evangelion episode number eight uh so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like, like button uh if you're not subscribed please be sure to subscribe and comment down below if you want anything to like say about this episode or anything in general uh just comment down below i'll be sure to check them out and so yeah guys so that was it guys so i'll be back with another two episodes of neon genesis evangelion next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day